Uh, well, it's a funny story. Uh, first impressions were not good. Uh, in eighth grade, school got over and we, Ash, had an end of year party and some of my friends got invited, so Ash felt she had to invite me. The night was going fine. Everyone was just having a blast and all of a sudden the cops like swarmed my house. A couple of my buddies and I had a grand idea. We'd sit in the ditch and scare cars as they drove by. Well, no cars were coming, but there was a gentleman on his bike. So we decided to scare him and he flipped his bike into the ditch and we thought it was hilarious, but it wasn't 15 minutes and we had the house surrounded by cops and they were thought it was a party. And so uh, I was told by Robin and Larry that my I would never ever step foot in the house again. So that was not the best start for him. Freshman year formal, I kind of warmed up to him a little bit. He'd been texting me and saying that we should get together at formal and all this kind of stuff. Well, we didn't go with each other. Um, he went with some good looking senior and I went with Preston that was in my grade and Maddie couldn't go because she was a grade below me so we kind of just went as friends. Um, we danced together at formal, kind of hit it off a little bit and then uh, he had kept keep asking me like, well do you think we should date, all this kind of stuff and I said well I need to talk to my mom because she still cannot stand you. <laughs> That's all she has in her head is that night that you had the cops called to my house. And so I kind of had to sit down and talk with her and tell her my feelings. And um, she just kind of nodded her head and thought, oh, this is a fling, like it'll pass. She's just going after a bad boy or something like that. But um, he came to my house, just him, Shania, and me, and we played cards. and had a good time and he actually left the lights on his car at my house so he had to come back in with his tail between his legs and ask my dad to jump his car. <laughs> and then on the way home he got pulled over for speeding and he was past curfew so I had to drive him to school for the next three months. <laughs> and that's kind of how we got together. I've been planning it for about a month and a half uh, Ash had told me a long time ago that when I did ask her that she wanted somebody there to take pictures, but I didn't know for sure how to do it without making it obvious, so I told her that my mom wanted to take family photos when we went out to my uncle's farm for uh, opening pheasant hunt season. His mom is very photogenic, so I didn't think anything of it, so he actually went and picked out a vest to bring, and at that time I was like, what are you doing, because he thinks pictures is the dumbest thing ever. So I still really didn't think anything of it. So uh, we went hunting in the morning and then we came back and both got showered up and went out and to the trees across the road and took some pictures and, and my mom kind of asked what more pictures we wanted and I said well let's just take one of us walking away and so we walked a little bit away from the camera and I got down on a knee and Ash started crying and it was a, it was a really cool moment. And he put the ring on my finger and I was shaking ever since then. <laughs> when I asked her to marry her, I didn't just say, will you marry me? I said, you're going to be a nurse. I said, will you take care of me for the rest of my life? With her being a nursing, I know I've laid on the floor before and my bones have all been labeled and I've, I've been a diagram for her. So, But I think, I mean, together we're just two peas in a pod, we, make, we bring out the strengths in every, each other and it's, it's great. The best qualities that I see in Tyler, um, he can always make me laugh. Things I love most about Ash is everything, but if I had to narrow it down, everything with Ashley is just absolutely positive. Never fails, he can always make me smile, so that's kind of aggravating at times, but it's nice at other times. I mean, there's never a negative in anything and there's always a positive, so. And, you know, a lot of people spend their whole life searching for a good buddy that'll go hunting and fishing with them, and I get to spend the rest of mine, and I'm marrying her, so that's, that's a big highlight in my life. So. They make little smirks at me whenever I say that I shot the biggest deer this year. <laughs> I think mainly it's just I want to see us both happy, and I think as long as we're together, and we will be, and hope to have a family. and. Uh, we can share our love with our kids and be raised right and live their life. <laughs> <laughs>